Hello and welcome, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Melinda Crane and it is my pleasure to moderate this panel session on integrating transport networks for sustainable growth and development. We are facing what I would say is uh, one of the critical issues and this is the lack of uh, good institutional arrangements. Uh, you see most of the Latin American countries, uh, authorities at the national level, at provincial level and local level with uh, responsibilities that are related to the use of the land and the, some of the parts of the transport system. And there is a disarray between the powers of this authority and the money they have available to make decisions, and mainly decisions related to investment. So the need of coordination of different levels of authorities is critical here. You cannot have a successful integrated transport network with sustainability in its development if your mayor and your chancellor changes every so often. You need reliability, you need security of planning, and only then you will be able to manage it well. Politicians in Germany did something very smart. The uh, basic law, the federal constitution, so to speak, was amended and uh, it was laid down that Deutsche Bahn, so we were not called Bundesbahn anymore, Deutsche Bahn is a private enterprise. And uh, with that, there was a clear assignment of roles for the operation of the rolling stock and the maintenance and uh, the management of the uh, track network. Here, Deutsche Bahn is responsible as a private enterprise and for replacement capex uh, for the existing network and for added capacity, that's where the government is responsible. And this was a very important uh, success factor. In the past, uh, diff uh, we have different uh, ministries which are uh, responsible for different uh, transportation systems. The central government uh, already realized uh, this is a problem. And uh, in the past two years, uh, uh, the central government uh, has done a lot uh, to improve this system. One of the key steps they have done is the, the central government uh, is trying to put all the transporting uh, system into one uh, ministry. And now we have a ministry of transport. And, uh, and this ministry of transport uh, is not only responsible for marine works and the road uh, expressway works, and also they are responsible for railway uh, and uh, uh, aviation. Uh, these two parts are belongs to a different ministry in the past. So a better coordination and integration can be done with the Ministry of Transportation. Transport will become a development tool, a tool for strategic development that is the period of time is 20 years in Morocco, where we have strategies that go to 2035 for um, sea transport, aviation, road and rail transport. 25% of the strategy will be directed to the latter. And for planning, this is very important because here we have a good level of development. Transport is one possible one of the best possible vehicles, basically, to keep everybody together, to keep a nation together. And if you uh, were to ask me uh, what, or summarize a vision which will ex explicit the role of transport in trying to get to this sustainable growth pattern, I would say something like inclusive growth through inclusive transport.